So as most of you know, iOS 18 did actually end up bringing a new calculator application. So it's the same calculator app, but there's actually a lot of cool feature sets that I want to go and demonstrate. And it's actually a very, very cool, you know, basically a cool application that we have nowadays. Now, the calculator app in and of itself is basically the same thing as it kind of was before. So you can go and start typing in numbers. You can do 22 plus whatever, right? But there's a few more toggles. One, you can see now we have the actual numbers placed out in front of us rather than before it would delete the number and just show the number that we're currently typing in. There's also a back button now too. So we can go through and basically have this new back button there, which is really, really nice. And we can go ahead and just, you know, kind of have a more thorough calculator than we had before, which is actually very, very, very nice. Now there's still no like parentheses or anything on this particular calculator, but the calculator works the same way as it did before. Now, if you look at the very top left, there's a new little indicator right here. If you go and tap on it, it will basically show you your history of all your you know, previous equations that you did. So if I did this, right, and if I just kept doing this over and over again, I did this plus this, whatever, right? If I click here now, it'll show me all of my previous calculator, you know, things that I looked into. I can also click on the edit button up here and delete the ones that I don't like. So I can delete two. I can also just quickly delete all if I want to to save more memory. And that's another really cool thing that you have now within iOS 18. Now, the craziest thing is if you click on this calculator icon at the very bottom, you'll see you have a few more options. So for one, you have the basic calculator app, which is the one we're using. You can also click on the scientific calculator. Now you can have the full on built in scientific calculator without moving your iPhone like this. Before we had to turn, like, turn our iPhone like this to get it. Now we don't have to do that. And this is a much more thorough calculator, which is really nice. So now what you can do is you can do like full equations. So we can do 54 plus we can use these parentheses right here and then we can do like whatever we want to. So it's like the full scientific calculator that you get before right inside of here. And it's a really nice thing here too. So you have the same type of features. I'm not going to go through each individual feature, but you can go through and kind of modify whatever you want to here. The back button is still here. You still have a lot of capability here too. And it is a much it is a much better calculator than it was before because now you can actually just have these actual like indicators, like the parentheses here. You can see everything that you're doing, which is really nice before you can do that. You can still see your settings here. Finally, if you click on the calculator icon in the bottom left, you'll see math notes now. So you can type in math notes and it says, welcome to math notes. And now you can actually draw out your actual equations. So now what we can do is if we want to, we can do like two, we can click here first and we can type in like two, so here you can do like two plus two or whatever. So you can just type it out. I don't know why you'd want to do it this way. And you can see it'll automatically start generating the equations just like this. Now, if I want to, you can also go ahead and do something even crazier, which is you can draw now. So I can go and start drawing these things and watch what happens. I can go and do like two plus two equals and watch what happens. It will go ahead and indicate it and show it in my personal, like my, uh, like, handwriting exactly what it is which is crazy but that's just a basic one you can also go crazier you can do like five plus five now you can do like five and it's actually pretty decent i was demonstrating this as you can see my handwriting is terrible so i will be very surprised if it even gets this so the answer what is like 50 or something five plus no actually i got it wrong it's fine <laughs> i thought it was multiplication you can see it's actually doing pretty good and it's even getting the answers right that i got wrong and you can see it actually indicates and shows me a blue thing if it got something wrong or right so I can go and tap on it, I think, or something, and I can go and kind of modify it from there. And it's actually really cool. So you can mess around with this. Again, this is a basic example. If you want to go back to the basic calculator, you can just go back here and go back into the basic calculator. So that is how to use the new iOS 18 calculator. It's crazy. But that's a quick tutorial. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.